Hello everyone, you're on Tony's Witchy Arts and Crafts, and I'm Tony. Hi, hello. How's everyone doing on this beautiful Friday? So, um, yeah. I'm going to do a spooky art journal page today. But before that, um, I want to remind you guys that um, next Friday will be Friday the 13th, which is Creepy 13. <laughs> so don't forget to jump in. It's an open collaboration. Jump in, jump out every other month or once a, once a year, whatever. Whatever, right? All you have to do is just use the hashtag Creepy13 and do whatever you want. You can do Creepy Cute, you can do Creepy Spooky, you know, like Creepy Gory, if that's your thing. <laughs> whatever. Just use the hashtag so the rest of us can find you. Come over and give you a thumbs up and show you some love. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, I've been busy working on a wedding album, um, been working on Christmas cards, uh, Sugar Ray Crafts um, Swap. Um, I've also been working on this little um, journal that I'll be using for um, the October Daily, or the October ATC Challenge I'll be doing. So I've been working on that. I still need to dye some pages. I'm going to put pockets on this, but I've been working on that. Plus doing physical therapy and watching dogs. So I've been a bit still. <laughs> so I haven't had much time to play around with my cut and collage books and make art journal pages that I really like doing lately. <laughs> so this is the brand new one. I just showed this one off last night. So we're, we're going to use images out of here, which I've already cut out. But yeah. It is from Poor Toast and Kate Curry on Amazon. So go check them out. Look up um what what is it called when people are selling stuff on Amazon? Is it called a storefront? Or just a page? A sell seller page? But yeah, they both have one of their own. So if you go look up Poor Toast on Amazon and Kate Curry then they, they both have their own page. But, um, yeah. So I cut out a bunch of images out of that one. So we're going to make a story. But first, we need to cover up all this white. So how is everyone doing? So, what's today? What's today's date? September, I know it's Friday. September what? Is it the 4th or the 5th? But, we're in spooky season. We're officially in spooky season. Next month is October. So, what is everybody working on? Are you working on something spooky? I know there's a lot of Halloween swaps going on right now. Not the one I wanted. Okay, um, hold on, people. I thought I had all my colors out, but there is one missing. There we go. The new black. The new black one I got. Sorry. I just not wanting to. Okay. I hope it's not plugged. Come on. Hold on, guys. Usually I have all these colors ready, you know, all shaken up. Make sure they spray before I turn the camera on. But no, I I have the wrong color out. Yeah, my brand new black one that I received for my birthday is 
unplugged. It's not coming up. So. So, let's see. Maybe I can get a paintbrush. Get a little bit of a paintbrush. Cause I just want Cause I wanted the sides dark. Oh. I know the black and green kind of has a Beetlejuice vibe, doesn't it? <laughs> That's not what I was going for. Maybe um, we'll come back in with this other. I might have to get the glue gun out. Okay, so I just want the color to like. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so so yeah, what is everybody working on? Do share. Okay, I like that. It's just really wet now, so. So my daughter's wedding is next week. Next weekend. It's on the 14th. So we are getting really excited. I got all those treat bags done. Took them over to her. Yet was it yesterday? Yes, yesterday. So. All right. I kind of like that. So okay, I'm gonna um heat heat this and then I'll be right back, okay? I'm gonna pop. Alright, I am back, guys. So I heat set it and then I added a little bit of the um, Distress uh, Spritz and a green and an orange and look at all that shimmer. The black had shimmer in it too. But I love it. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love it. Okay, so let me put this back in place here. Now, now I can get to the rest of it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put my paintbrush in the water. Alright, so. Um, I'm going to use some of this paper from one of those new paper pads I just got from Joann's this year. And I'm going to tear this up and just kind of like put it around the page. <laughs> So is anyone, I know we get so excited um, that spooky season is here, but you know I realize that that means winter's coming too. <laughs> and so this is usually the time of year, you know, around September, that I start paying attention to the, like uh, the winter 
uh, forecast coming. I think I'm just going to leave those like that. I'm going to darken this edge of this. So yeah, I started paying attention to the winter forecast and it looks like the majority of the United States is going to get more snow this year than last. So if you're if you're an area if you're in the area that usually gets a lot of snow, you might get a little bit more than usual because our weather pattern is going to change this year than it was last year. It's going to be different. So I want this in this corner. I want this in this corner. Yeah, I think it's good. So I'm just going to pull these down. My desk is already a mess. <laughs> Doesn't take long. I made sure that wasn't plugged. So who who like pay attention to the winter weather and do you prepare for winter? And how soon do you prepare? And what do you do? I know that um so we, we had some um extra expenses this for September because of my daughter's wedding, right? But after her wedding, I'm going to start saving up um, for winter. And when I uh, say save up, I usually mean I'm putting extra money aside. So I would say probably about mid-November, I take our savings out that I saved up for winter, and I go... I kind of make a list. Do I need any more candles? Do we need any more blankets, socks, extra food, you know? And I go and I take our winter savings and I go buy all that. Um, because I, I'm a hibernator. So the moment snow starts hitting the roads and it likes to ice over at night and stuff, I won't leave the house. So in the middle of winter, there has been some winters I haven't left the house for like a whole month. <laughs> but I was prepared for that. I had everything I needed. And these days, um, you can link all your bills to your debit card and just pay everything. You know, have it all scheduled to be paid out. So there's no reason for to leave the house. Especially if you're disabled and you don't have to work. Um, so who is a winter prepper? <laughs> it's one thing. I guess you should always be, you know, ready and prepped year round. Um, in case something that happens like a pandemic. <laughs> but uh, I don't have the luxury to be prepped year-round because I am on a very tight fixed income. So, I want to cut that off. So, if you are a prepper, what is, what is it that you have to must-have? What's your must-have? Okay, so now I have this creepy window image. That I want to put right here. So I was going to go right there. And so far, you're probably thinking, okay, your page is looking really creepy so far, Tony. But what you don't know is 
this page is supposed to be a sweet and loving page. <laughs> and you'll see why here in a moment. So I'm kind of setting the mood for a date night. Can you believe it? Alright, let me show you why why I say that. <laughs> so cute. Um, so, we have a lovely, sweet couple here that are on a date night. And they went to a cooking class for their date night to learn how to make Halloween candy for trick-or-treaters. <laughs> Am I in <afraid? laughs> So they're going to go right here. Yeah. I think I went right there. I'm kind of shaky today. <coughs> so yeah, she's going to go there. I think these two are just a lovely couple. What do you think? Do share. They're just so adorable together. And I love that they went to a cooking class to learn how to do something together. That is just adorable. I know you're probably saying, well, she looks kind of grumpy. Oh, she's not grumpy. She might be a little grumpy because we are you know, interrupting their date night <laughs> to come see what they're doing. <laughs> but, surprisingly, she's very happy with what she's doing right now. Because <laughs> they're making some sweet candies for the trick-or-treaters. Well, you know what? I kind of wanted to prop them up, but it's too late now. I guess not everything I make has to be dimi dimensional, right? <laughs> but, I don't know. I'm not sure if they're a good cook or not. It's looking a little suspicious. <laughs> what do you think? Would you eat their candy? <laughs> Okay, so we got, we have a little image here I really wanted to squeeze in here. And then, here's all their candies that they've made so far. I'm going to scatter right there. I'm missing a piece. Oops. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. Okay, so, let's glue this on. Stomach is growling at me. Can you guys hear that? I'm trying really hard to be a good girl. The wedding is next week, and I want to drop just a few pounds. Plus, my feet and ankles have been a little swollen lately, and so I'm trying to watch my sugar intake and my sodium intake which I've been doing for a few days now, and it, um, my ankles and feet are starting to look better. They're not 100% yet, but they're starting to look better, which I'm glad. Cause I would really hate to go to a wedding with swollen feet. That would suck. I would feel miserable, right? So I'm trying to be a good girl. Even with all this beautiful, delicious pumpkin spice coming into the stores lately, so I have a bought I have bought a few things. Like some chocolates and some cookies and pop tarts and stuff, right? And um what I do is I will um I half them. Like I split every time I get something I split it up between my husband and I. And I'll give him his and then I will bring mine in here into our room and I hide it for myself. 
I mean, I know it's in here, but if I don't see it daily, then it's outside, out of mind. And every now and then, in the evenings after dinner, I do want something. Not every night. Something just a little sweet. And so I'll ask my husband to go get me, like, one cookie or one chocolate or something. I have him come and get it, because if I see it, then I might grab more, you know? <laughs> Alright, we got our candies on. Now, we have a trick or treat sign here. I might put that right up here. We have a beware sign right here, which might go up in here. And then she's like, boo! She's trying to scare us because we caught her making candy. <laughs> and then we got an eek. So I just want to put right down here. So we'll glue those on. Actually, well, yeah, I'll just glue. I was going to put some lace. That's okay. This one's kind of plain and kind of flat. We are going to add some bling to it though. So. So I'm going over to my friend's house at 2 o'clock today and she wants me to help her burn some images into some wood circles. So her husband, uh, they had a tree in the backyard and it needed to come down so her husband cut a tree down and she wanted some wood circles cut out of the wood so he cut some wood slices for her and we're going to wood burn some images in there for her and um, her husband even drilled like a hole like right between the center so they can like hang it like an ornament and I think, I think she's going to use them at her work so I want to help her burn some images today now I have burned images in the past couple times but it's been years so we'll see how it goes. So then her husband said if if I wanted that I could just draw on the wood of the image I want him to be burned in, right? And then he can just follow the lines and burn it in from him. Okay. That works. <laughs> okay, so got all my words on. And now I've got my um dew drops from double click connect I'm just seeing what do I want to do here um, whoa. I love these black ones I wish he, I wish she made them more often but I know that I guess they're kind of difficult to make so we're going to put, we're going to put one in her hat, I don't know, one up here, one up here, one down here, or I guess we don't need that many, I don't want to use them all up right away. <laughs> I gotta savor them. Okay, so we'll use the orange ones.
And I've got some green ones. So I'm just placing them on the paper to see where I want them. I don't want one right there. Right there. I kind of want the green ones all right here. Not fun. And then, okay, because I put the green ones all in the center, let's put some purple ones on too. And then I'll put some little tiny, put some little tiny gems on there as well. So let's glue these down first. Come on. I even plugged the glue gun in, thinking I was going to need it. Which, if I would have propped the images up made them dimensional. I would have needed the glue. But just my luck, I plug it in because I think I need it and then I don't use it. And then there's times I don't plug it in because I think I'm not going to need it and then I do. <laughs> This looks like a fun date night. What do you think? <laughs> Come on. For some reason, I want to stick to my fingers. Look at this big lollipop that she made. And she's already got a basket of candy back there. <laughs> Get them all, huh? Yeah, they're all because <laughs> the, the shape test. They stay the, their own good. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm gonna use a little, some of these fairy gems here. And I got I got these fairy gems um on that website, uh Simon says stamp. I got them there. And I kind of want some of these bright orange ones here.
did want a little bit of purple. Maybe I'll just squeeze on some black as well. Because I want to put it like I did with her hat. I want to put one on hips and I want to put a black one on hips. Another purple. I'll try this one. What do you guys think? Gone away. Alright, I'm gonna bring it up to the camera. <laughs> Don't they look cute? So they're on a date night. And they went to a cooking class to learn how to make candy. For the trick or treaters. <laughs> I love it. Look at that window. Love that window. Beware. Trick or treat. So, this wonderful couple is getting ready for Halloween. Alright. So, are you guys getting ready for Halloween? What do you have planned for Halloween? Do you celebrate Halloween? Or do you celebrate something else? Do you celebrate Samhain? Day of the day? Something in between? <laughs> Alright, thank you so much you guys for tuning in and watching my little art page. I really appreciate it. And just to remind you guys one more time, Next Friday, on Friday the 13th, is Creepy 13. It's an open collaboration. You can jump in and jump out anytime you want. Just use the hashtag Creepy13 so I can come give you some love. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.